there is one more topic in context of meditation that I needed to go through. And that is the effect of meditation on uh, different brain wave patterns. This is also a very important topic because it gives some extra insights um, about the benefits of meditation that we don't get through uh, just studying the anatomy of the brain, for instance. Um, in my previous presentations on meditation, I described how meditation impacts different parts of the brain. And that is typically studied using a machine like the fMRI machine, where you're put under the scanner and uh, as you are engaging in meditation or for that matter any other problem solving exercise or different thoughts and different emotions what are the different parts of the brain that get uh, activated and that is measured well uh, in an fmri machine even though that's not the best uh, method because there is always a time lag uh, uh, to explain that the way the fmri machine works is it um, measures the blood flow to the different regions of the brain uh, blood contains hemoglobin so uh, which has iron and this magnetic resonance imaging functional uh, ma magnetic resonance imaging fMRI uh, it captures the uh, uh, flow of blood to different regions of the brain but since blood flow takes a little bit of time so there is always a lag uh, there in any case uh, the brain is a power hungry organ uh, even though in an adult uh, the brain constitutes about 2% of the body weight, but uh, it takes up, I think, more than 20% of the energy resources. So we do learn a lot about how the brain functions using an fMRI. In contrast to the fMRI machine that measures blood flow to different parts of the brain, the EEG or the electroencephalogram, what it does is it measures electrical activity in the brain, neurons fire, uh, electrical signals. Uh, that's how uh, the nervous system works. So uh, the electrical signals are measured through electrodes that are placed all over the brain. And depending on how advanced uh, an EEG machine that is being used, it could have you know, 20 electrodes to 300 electrodes or whatever. So there can be a huge range uh, in the capacity uh, of uh, the EEG machine. Irrespective of that, um, though this line of research has led to uh, some tremendous advances uh, about our knowledge um, of how the brain functions. So while in the fMRI we had those scans, here we get the output in form of graphs, electrical patterns. So we may see uh, some odd electrical patterns in certain types of patients, for instance, somebody uh, having epilepsy uh, or um, having Parkinson's disease and so on and so forth. So this can be a very fruitful line of research. Even though EEG technology is relatively cheap compared to the fMRI, does not mean that it is useless. In fact, it has provided some great insights about how the brain functions. And now we will discuss um, all the findings that we have got uh, through this line of research in context of meditation. So these are some of the common types of brain wave patterns that have been observed using the EEG machine. Uh, we will first of all discuss about the delta wave pattern. And this is the uh, pattern that has the lowest frequency. Uh, typically frequencies below 4 Hz. And frequency, as you know, the number of oscillations that a wave has per second. Uh, so the more number of times the wave oscillates, within a time frame, the higher the frequency. So here the frequency is really low. Okay, So it's not fluctuating too frequently. So this is the pattern that we observe when people are in the deep sleep stage. You would remember when we discussed the different stages of uh, sleep cycle, um, there is the light sleep phases like the REM phase, for instance, where we see dreams. And then we also have the deep sleep uh, stage. So this is the pattern of uh, waves that we observe when a person goes into the deep sleep stage. And again, as you would remember, this is the pattern that is again associated with our, the healing of the body. If we don't get enough deep sleep, for instance, 
uh, our body will not heal we will be susceptible to lots of illnesses we will uh, we can even suffer from psychiatric illnesses uh, in extreme cases if we don't get enough of these deep sleep stages so delta wave pattern matters a lot um, uh, people who drink alcohol for instance uh, they easily fall into sleep but they uh, most of the sleep happens in those light uh, stages of sleep like REM stages it it doesn't go to the deep sleep stage so that's one of the problems uh, of you know drinking alcohol on a regular basis or drinking too much alcohol uh, <clears throat> you don't get enough of the uh, delta wave patterns or the deep sleep stages which is as I said very important for your healing the next uh, stage is the theta stage uh, or the theta wave, wave pattern here the frequency ranges from 4 to 8 hertz and this is the part um, that is associated with the REM uh, phase or the rapid eye movement the the dreaming phases of uh, our sleep by the way all these uh, brain waves have a range and you could within that range also there are subcategories you know we are not going into that much of detail we are just talking about the broader categories here in any case rem phase also has its uh, utilities but again this is something that you experience when uh, you are in that dreamy state um, of sleep the next one is a very important one uh, because it's associated with wakefulness you are awake the alpha wave pattern it is you are awake then uh, but you are in a state of deep relaxation you are uh, very peaceful you are not at all agitated you are fully in the present you are um, very mindful uh, so this is when you get the alpha wave pattern in your brain the frequency is higher uh, than the frequencies that we had observed during the sleep stages but uh, it is not too high as you would see uh, for instance is the case for the beta wave patterns so here the frequency is between 8 to 12 hertz and this is a state that you would love to be in because it is <clears throat> calming it is peaceful so it is easy to get into these uh, stages if you practice meditation and there has been a lot of research papers that have been published on this particular topic where uh, the uh, seasoned meditators can easily go into the alpha Wave, wave pattern and this can you know in real time be observed on the computer so they go into meditation they just easily go into alpha wave stages the other uh, cool thing is that there that even the default uh, wave pattern tends to be a lot alpha waves so even when they are not just sitting cross leg and trying to meditate if the normal waking hours also tends to be more of those alpha waves so which is calming soothing so that is uh, <clears throat> another evidence of how meditation has real impact on your brain which can be actually seen through these wave patterns <clears throat> the next stage or the next wave type is the beta uh, wave type and this is uh, something that we see amongst most adults so this is when you are alert when you are learning uh, but also when you are anxious you could be depressed you are thinking you are you know working hard worrying about things so this again this is a much wider range of course compared to the other uh, wave patterns that we have discussed so far so 12 to 30 hertz um, but this is um, it has its uses right you know with that little bit of stress we succeed in dealing with the challenges of life uh, but um, it is associated with stress it is associated with uh, anxiety uh, and uh, these associated problems so um, not necessarily the most pleasant state to be in uh, so that's the beta uh, wave pattern now the last one that i want to talk about the gamma uh, brain wave patterns uh, this is uh, something that can go from 30 hertz to 100 hertz that's a huge range here and uh, this is the most uh, uh, recent of the brain waves that have been discovered uh, the traditional EEGs were not able to capture these uh, wave patterns uh, it go it, it's like too high frequency especially the higher ends of gamma uh, waves you know was really difficult for 
the previous machines to capture. But now with the advances, you know, uh, these wave patterns have been observed. The nature of these gamma waves is that they are observed when you are in what is called a zone. So this is not about being calm and peaceful, but it's about being extremely joyful. Um, it's about peak performance. You know, when you are so involved in what it is that you are doing that you literally lose track of time, and uh, that is the what that is what is called like being in a zone, being in a state of flow. Uh, so that is also the state that uh, is associated with the highest level of happiness um, that we can experience. So in most human beings, uh, gamma waves is observed only for a second or less than a second. Uh, so that is uh, because it is very high frequency within that second itself, we will see a lot of those oscillations. So, uh, but it doesn't last too long in most human beings. But the Olympic level uh, meditators, meaning those who have practiced meditation for many years, uh, they can be in this state for hours together. So, um, and this is something that was initially observed at the University of Wisconsin um, uh, at uh, Richard Davidson's uh, lab, uh, who has done some pioneering research in the field of meditation. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, he was actually initially surprised. He thought there was some problem in the machine that you know we are seeing these wave patterns because he had never seen any of these patterns in in any of his um, other subjects. So. Uh, <clears throat> So this is the gamma uh, state. <clears throat> Most of us uh, tend to experience only short bursts of gamma, the short meaning like a second or two, uh, and in rare circumstances. So for example, if you are trying to solve a difficult problem, difficult, difficult calculus problem, and you have been trying to work hard and you are not being able to solve it, and suddenly uh, you, uh, you get a flash of insight about how to solve the problem. So just microseconds before you get that flash of insight, that's when we see these gamma wave patterns. It, 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 it is really a joyful experience. So this is what happens in uh, common folks. Uh, but if you take up meditation and if you um, practice it on, on a regular basis, when you, when you become advanced in the practice, it becomes easier for you to get into this uh, state. So this is also a state that is associated with compassion. Uh, uh, you feel a state of oneness with everything else in the world. Uh, so a lot of spiritual traditions uh, across uh, the world, be it East or West, have talked about uh, these uh, states, right? So uh, earlier it was considered ooey, ooey, you know, something that couldn't have been measured. But now uh, these are things that scientists have been able to measure uh, in the lab and it is demonstrated through these gamma wave patterns. A couple more points in context of gamma waves. So as I have already mentioned, it's about peak concentration, it's high level of cognitive functioning. Those are the times that we observe gamma waves. And uh, we tend to see uh, more gamma waves amongst people who have a you know, higher IQ, as well as in people who are more compassionate. Um, <clears throat> Or during the times that you are extremely compassionate, for instance, um, um, gamma waves. If you if you have sufficient number of gamma waves in your uh, brain, uh, then uh, that is also associated with uh, having excellent memory. Uh, I have al already mentioned about being happy, joyful. So uh, for most of us, our day-to-day -day existence is mundane, uh, stressful, um, anxious. Or if not any of these things, you know, some of us may be a little bit better. We are at least not stressed too much. We are at peace. But uh, if you succeed in uh, getting to stay in uh, this gamma wave state for extended periods of time, you are uh, <laughs> like um, being on whatever drug, ecstasy, or whatever uh, that gives you that high, but without actually having taken that drug. So that is what we are talking about, this uh, gamma wave pattern. Uh, and it is possible. It is possible through um, engaging in certain practices that helps you achieve those states. Uh, again, this is a relatively newer area of research. Uh, so we don't know a whole lot of stuff, uh, but we do know uh, that uh, it is uh, also 
initial research shows that you know it is associated with neurogenesis so in other words it helps in regeneration of uh, the brain cells uh, <coughs> so overall gamma waves are good and this is a very good excellent and this is what is associated uh, most with um, advanced meditators another uh, important aspect uh, in context of brain waves is the uh, coherence of uh, waves and and we tend to see more coherence of wave patterns when we uh, see it in the gamma waves to a certain extent also in the alpha waves but not so much in the beta waves when there is too much of activity and um, in all different possible directions so in this graph for instance you see a similar kind of wave pattern um, this shaded area that's where there is more coherence the best way to explain it is in uh, form of this youtube video um, where you see 32 different metronomes that are started at different points of time so so initially you see there is lot of incoherence they are all going in different directions but after some time we tend to see more coherence you can see there is more coherence now there is some one here that is not as coherent but towards the end they all become completely coherent so all it's the analogy is different parts of the brain all functioning functioning in tandem so this is what we are referring to as coherence Now, why does this brain uh, wave coherence matter? Because it is associated with a lot of good things in life: higher creativity, higher grade point average, higher IQ, low neuroticism, you know, more abstract learning, and so on, so forth. So that is why we want to achieve uh, more brain wave coherence. That is the reason we want to achieve more of those alpha wave patterns or if we can those gamma wave patterns or being able to spend more time in those gamma wave uh, stages so and these are things that we accomplish through meditation uh, so that's all that i had to share about uh, meditation and its connection to different brain wave patterns